Hi, I'm Theo. Here's a short tutorial about how I print one of my head bases with Cura. So, first of all, I open the file. Uh, you can download my files from Singiverse or Printables. It's the same file on both sides, so there are some more files on Printables these days, because I find it easier to upload them there. So, if you have opened the file, it will open in the default size. Usually, I write in the description what the file is supposed to be used for, and also the file name can tell you what the file is meant to be used for. If the file name starts with fursuit, it's supposed to be a fursuit head base. If it starts with Puppet, it is built for a hand puppet. And as you can see here, I'm mostly using the default material profiles in Cura. So either TPU 95A or PLA. And I'm only changing some really minor settings. Uh, the number of outer walls. I usually set that to 3, and if I use infill, I like to use geroid, but all the other infill types work as well. I usually set the print bed to about 40 degrees. That seems to work fine with me. Um, and for better adhesion to the print pad, I use a brim. Six millimeters is usually enough. So that's the whole magic. Um, I don't have any special print profiles and um, I'm printing with the normal 0.2 millimeter layer height. Well, slicing takes a few moments. And as soon as that is finished, we can look into the preview how it will be printed. I print this without supports. Um, most of my head bases are optimized to be printed without supports, so you don't need them. Um, if you want to use them, just use tree supports for the overhangs that are over 70%. Uh, that's enough. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see that in this size there really is not much infill anywhere. So I optimized this print um, to more or less do not uh, do not need more than six layers side by side. Uh, absolute maximum, and um, all the overhangs can be printed with TPU fine. Um, I found it a little hard to do long bridging in TPU. Uh, that's why I added the plate here inside the nozzle. Uh, muzzle. <laughs> and uh, if this size is not what you want, you can just rescale it. And as soon as you do that, Note down the percentage uh, with that you rescale it. 
so normally 26 centimeters wide is what most of my fursuit head bases are if you need it even bigger like 300 millimeters you can do that of course uh, but you may run into a problem if you make it too big because it will not print that easy yeah here you can see it does not print, fit on the print bed anymore and what can you do you can rotate the whole head base and it fits again of course that is only possible if your print bed is big enough and I do recommend the print bed with uh, 300 by 300 millimeter size minimum for first you'd have bases If you want to print it with a smaller printer, you can of course cut the 3D model in more parts and print both separately and assemble them later. But I have to tell you, I know a lot of people that did not manage to get that back together like it should be. Because it's really harder to do and it doesn't work for everybody. I used to do it um, back when I only had one printer with a very small print pad. Um, but the failure rate is really high. Now if we look into the preview for the enlarged head base you can see now there is more space for the infill inside 